Hello everybody, Jamie here from FM Scout. Today's video, I'm giving you five fallen giants that can be your final save on Football Manager 2020. Now, all of these clubs are extremely tempting because they was once in the top leagues. They, some of them had European success and some of them's got really big stadiums. So stick around, have a look at all the teams, see who you'd prefer. We're going to go through quite a bit with each team. But more importantly, if you guys do like the video, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also leave a comment. All this interaction massively, massively helps. But without further ado, let's go and have a look at team number one. The first place we are going is Germany, FC Kaiserslautern in German, third Bundesliga. Yes, they are a team in the third tier of Germany. They was once a founding member of the Bundesliga playing there from 1963 to 1966 without any relegations. In 2001, they survived bankruptcy by selling their stadium, which you can see right here. It's absolutely amazing for a third tier club. Previous players of Mikhail Balak, Stefan Kuntz and Miroslav Klose, they definitely belong in that top division and it's your mission to take them back to the top. A team that have won the Bundesliga four times. But let's have a little look at the club now. So you can see you have some hot prospects. You have some really good players as well. You have to remember the third Bundesliga. There's a lot of good players. And of course, you're, you're dealing with a few second teams as well. You can see they have won the Super Cup, the DFB Pokal as well. But you do have a hot prospect in Hikmet. Now, this guy has got really good first touch. You want to try and keep hold of this guy. He will try and get poached by a lot of teams going into the save. But your key player is Kevin Kraus. Really good tackling, good experience, 26 years old. He's been around a few clubs in Germany. But generally, it's a really good club to do. I mean, in terms of the balance, they have 5.6 million in the bank. You have no transfer budget, though. But you do have an available wage budget of 4,000. I also want to show you if any of these clubs have got debts as well. That's very important. You can see this. They have a bank loan of 8.25 million there's 4.2 remaining so you might have to sell a few players here and there to try and get back and um, get rid of that loan but yeah generally the team is quite big again you do have a lot of good players you've got a lithuanian german striker in spavlis up front who is very very good 13 finishing you know this is the type of guy that will score a lot of goals for you so yeah a really big club and just look at that stadium it's it's really incredible in terms of their facilities though, you can see they pay 366k per year for their stadium. Generally quite a bit of money, but when you are in the top tier, that's that's nothing to worry about. Eventually, you can probably buy the stadium at some point in this save. But you can see they've got adequate corporate, great training, great youth, average youth recruitment. But the good thing about this team is they average about 35,000 Fans, even in the third Bundesliga, they do have an almost 50,000 capacity stadium. So it's a really big team. They've got a big value. Like I say, training and youth are really good. They are professional as well. So it's just your mission to try and get them back to the top, top tier, the Bundesliga. You can see, if you look at the season preview, they are predicted to finish fourth. So, you know, you've got a bit of work to do. Ingolstadt have finished uh, predicted top, who got relegated from the second tier last year. But generally, uh, you know, if you are looking for a fallen giant, I don't believe there's a bigger one than this. Though we have got four more to show you, so let's go to the next one. Now, when I think of Palmer, I think of Buffon, Cannavaro, Lillian Thuram, Varon, Crespo, Chisier. All these amazing players, right? Incredible players. That's when I was younger, and I always think of them. I remember my friends walking around in Palmer shirts. It was pretty crazy. And the club did win eight trophies between 1992 and 2002. They have never won the title though, and that's where you guys come in. They've won, they've won the Europa League twice, the Super Cup, the TIM Cup, and the European Cup Winners Cup. But they haven't won the Serie A. Late 2003, though, it all kind of fell apart by the Parmalat scandal, which caused the parent company to collapse and resulted in the club operating in controlled administration until January 2007. The club was declared bankrupt 2015 and refounded in Serie D. They did secure three straight promotions though and returned to Serie A in 2018. But again, in all this history with all these amazing players, they still haven't won Serie A. Again, you've got a really good capacity stadium. The club value is much higher, 83 million than Kaiserslautern. Four-star training, two-and-a-half-star youth facilities, 
In terms of the players, uh, Andrea Adorante is your key, your your hot prospect. Going back though, you do have some really good quality in terms of um, experience. You know, you got Javino who played for Arsenal a lot long ago. Javino is a really good option on that left hand side. Though he is thirty two, whether you want to cash in on him and, and get someone younger, that's your choice. But you do have some generally really good players. Now you can see right here, of course, it's always going to be a, a, a mission to actually beat and, and get past kind of, you know, your Juventus and teams like that. But you've also got Damian, who obviously played for Man United, a really good right back. So you, you've got a base of good players. You've just got a lot of players loaned in. As you can see, majority of your team is loaned, including a wonder kid, Dejan. This guy is a wonder kid, he's loaned from Juventus. Um, if you do look actually at the affiliates, you will notice in, in Italy, you have a lot of affiliate teams, you know, Napoli, you can have a little look what's kind of involved in this link. You can also cancel this link if you feel like you're not getting much from it. But in, in Italy, there's a lot of loans going about. There's a lot of big teams. Some teams have over 150 to 200 players. So if you've never managed in Italy, you'll be in for a little bit of a shock because it works a little bit differently to most teams around your or most leagues around Europe. But generally, like I say, a really good team to manage. And you can see they do have 11.3 million in the bank. Really good. 4.3 million transfer budget and 5,000 available wage budget. You've also got some transfers happening when you take over the save. But yeah, that is Palmer. Let's move on to team number three. Let's go now to the joint most successful team in France. Yes, AS Saint Etienne. When you look at this team's history, you know, they've won League One 10 times. That's a lot, considering they've not won anything for a while. The last time they won it was 1981. So it's a long time ago. You know, your guy's mission is to try and overtake PSG, overtake all the money, and see if you can get this team back to winning the titles. They won, look, you can see how long ago they actually won most of these. They got relegated to Liga 2 in 2004, but they won it. So you've got a really big, you've got a really big challenge here because obviously we all know how much money is in France with PSG and Monaco and teams like that. But they've got forty-two thousand capacity stadium. Your key player or your key prospect is Lucas Gornet Duaf, though he's not great. But your main key player for this squad is Wabab Kazri, who is a left winger as well, twenty-eight. Good value, good wages, and yeah, he's going to be a very good player coming in from that in that left hand side, or he can play attacker midfielder. Now, in terms of this club, though, they have got twelve point one million in the bank. They've got a transfer budget of six point eight million. You've only got a thousand pound left in the wage budget, though, so you've got to be very careful. Now, in terms of the league, they are in obviously League One. Season preview wise, though, they are predicted to finish ninth, so it's a really good challenge. Honestly, if you can turn this club, you've got so much history with this club and it's a really good and fun club to manage. So I would give it a go if you are looking for a save. Back to Italy now and a special team that you might have forgotten. The miracle of Foggia swept over Catanaccio Italy in the 90s with the gung-ho 4-3-3 football. Football was based off being aggressive and entertaining football at the same time. When the team first made it to Serie A, it was still crazy because the team at the time was considered extremely weak. Now, of course, these are in Serie D. You will need an Italian database to play this, but I will leave that in the link below. In regards to the club, though, your key player is a 37-year-old journeyman for Magali. You can see goalkeeper. At least you've got a goalkeeper, right? So it's not too bad. I mean, he's only valid at 12k. Well, this is probably the challenging one. So if you are looking for something like this, it's, it's, you know, if you do like your lower league saves, this is the perfect club to take over, in my opinion. But if we go back, you can see they've got a 25,000 capacity stadium, a really good capacity, though the training and the youth facilities aren't the best. I can't see the season preview because I don't have the database loaded. Again, I will leave that in the link in the description below. But yeah, see if you can take these guys back to Serie A and compete with the likes of Juventus and try and get that continental football. And finally, we head to Spain for anyone who's interested in trying a Spanish save. Now, we're coming to the mighty Deportivo de la Coruna. They've fallen down to Secunda B. These was the 1999 Spanish winners playing at home in the mighty Riazor. A little fun fact for you, this team is the smallest team in Spain to have won the league 
They have a population of just 250,000 people. If you remember, in 2004, they actually reached the semi-final of the Champions League. They did go out to the Mourinho's Porto at that time. But yeah, the question is, can you bring the success back to this team? Now, in terms of the club, you can see the history and the, the honours right here. La Liga, well, La Liga in 2000. You can see Juan Rodriguez is their hot prospect. You know, not amazing, to be honest with you. You are in the Segunda, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. Though your key player is Claudio Bauvu. Very, very good right winger. Good technique, good work rate. Very fast player for 31. In terms of the season preview, you are predicted third. So you've got a pretty good team. And you've got, a, obviously, an ability to work on that. You, you can see, though, they have 9.2 million in the bank. A 1.3 transfer budget. You, you are over on the wage budget, so you need, maybe need to look in your under-23s or your B team. And you can see that you know there's a lot of players there and a lot of wages that you can free up. A very good challenge. I would recommend giving it a go if you do like your Spanish saves. But my name's been Jamie. That's been the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below. If you're going to take over any of these, there's a month and a half left of FM20 before we move on to the new game. So yeah, please let me know if you're going to take over this, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.